With only a few days until the presidential inauguration, businesses are gearing up for an economic windfall. But for many, that windfall isn't what they'd hoped. Horace Holmes joins us now from Freedom Plaza with what has business owners worried tonight. Horace? Well, businesses like the Willard Hotel here behind me are putting their final touches on the preparations for inaugural weekend. They just aren't sure how big the crowds will be, but they have to prepare and they have to hope for the best. Businesses brisk for the lunch rush today at P.J. Clark's restaurant just down the street from the White House, but they are expecting even bigger things during the inaugural weekend. We also will have a big tent outside. We'll have a beer garden out there. Manager Scott Shirley believes compared to last year at the same time, this weekend business will double. Being so close to the White House and the parade route makes him confident that all the people in town for the festivities will make their way here. In downtown D.C., usually around Christmas and New Year's, it's a little bit slower, so it's nice to have the inauguration every four years. We're just experiencing Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. before the inauguration. Lois Pimentel and Hunter Landau are here from Florida for the inauguration and stopped by Souvenir World downtown to pick up some gifts. But otherwise, business here has been slow this week, and owners say they aren't confident it will get too much better for Inauguration Day. They aren't the only ones not sure what to expect. The big pomp and circumstances they usually go through, they've cut back on, so people aren't coming as much. At the Marriott Chinatown and at many hotels in town, they are worried. Reservations are up for mid-January, but they thought they would have been sold out by now. Inaugural festivities this year are scaled back over four years ago, and the two official balls will be held in one spot, the convention center. The businesses that are around the other spots are able to be open for business and have private parties. Right here on the corner of 14th and Pennsylvania Avenue should be a very popular spot during the inauguration. Things, as far as the festivities are concerned, have been scaled back in large part because of the economy. We've heard estimates of anywhere, a crowd figure of a half a million to a million and a half people coming in town. We'll just have to wait and see, and so will the businesses in town. Reporting live downtown Horace Holmes, ABC 7 News.